Alrighty then, welcome back everybody. I know that our last episode did not run as long as we had anticipated, but that is okay. Uh, let's go over a couple of cool things that's happened since the last episode. I did not do anything further with magic. I did make Charmer the Treasure Hunter. It is now in here. I found it in a cave. Well, I found the stuff for it in the cave. I think it was a heart of earth. Yep. We already got to grab the other stuff. So, also, we got blaze burners. And they are very important. And you can hear the grunts from our new friends. Chantel, Leslie, and Florencio. I did go back and get him. So, in case anybody was wondering and worried about him, I went back and got him. Okay. <clears throat> So, I know that I said I want to get a bigger, better gun. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at what we got to do. Okay. Um, for us to get the cog loader, we got to make the rail worker. To make the rail worker, we got to make the riveter. To make the riveter, we got to make the riveter. So, the riveter requires a sturdy sheet, a rivet. I want to make more rivets. Rivet cast. So, just we, we just need a... <clears throat> those <laughs> uh, one of those shouldn't be hard at create all right where are you my dear friend you think it'd be right around there but it's not mechanical mixer mechanical press okay now we need to make a basin. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna need to grab some, well, we have some iron nuggets. <clears throat> Let's see here, where would be a good place for us to put this? This has kind of already got like the maximum area kind of already worked into it. Um, I hate having to go in and out of this side of this door. I might take this down. So we already have this on this side. We might do something over here. But let's see here. How can I do this? Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Rivet. So this is a rivet cast. And andesite alloy makes four. So to make this, we got to do just one stamped heated. <clears throat> got to think of exactly how could we do this. So I want this at the bottom. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, there's slabs. Of course there's slabs, right? Okay, that's way too far up or down. La castle. And then basin won't fit. We gotta go. Okay, we're just gonna shoot it. That'll work for now. And we're going to have to grab some stuff. Let's grab some uh, create stuff. Grab a little bit of that. Um, cogs. And. We'll grab a little bit more iron. I think these guys should have already uh, got done with that. Thanks, guys. What about copper? We got copper? We got copper. Hey, guys. Perfect. You guys are the best. Thank you. 
and I just threw away my IR run. <coughs> we need coal. Do do do. Grab a half a stack. Should be plenty. First, make plenty of rivets, and this is just the first part. So bear with me on that. Um. So, if I just focus here, I should be able to place you there and run just a straight like that, right? Now then, um, I kind of need some blocks to get up there. <clears throat> Oops, left that open. These guys are doing good. We added a couple of guys over here, so they have friends. Welcome to the stream, if you're brand new. If you're not brand new, that's cool too. Welcome back. Ah! Oh yeah, and I swapped out this so I don't have a crafting table. Ah! Of course it's going to go up there now. That's fine. All right, we, we got to do something about the, the the underfooting here. No? Okay. All righty then. <sighs> why, why, why you know want to... Oh, because it's half slabbed with that. Oh, it'll, it should work. No, it won't work there either. Balls. Um... Oh, I'm so happy I moved that. Okay, so it doesn't work there. It'll work here. Perfect, perfect. So we'll just, uh, you know, retrofit a bit. It'll go with a general non-aesthetic of aesthetics, right? Perfect, yes. Okay. So... To get this to be a rivet cast, we need these three items. Okay, and we said, all right, let's just look up rivet. Rivet cast and rivet, right? So rivet cast, we need an iron sheet and a nuggy. Iron sheet and a nuggy. Iron sheet and a nuggy. Well, I guess we can just toss this here for an iron sheet. Okay. Oh, I have a magnet on. So, iron sheet and a nuggy. We start it up. Okay. And then to make a rivet, we need four andesite alloy. And that, and I don't think we grabbed any andesite alloy. I did not look that far ahead. I apologize to everyone. I did not look that far ahead. Andesitis alloyus. Well, 
we're gonna make we're, we're gonna make f a couple of these so it says we just throw in that and that and then she'll stamp it does it eat it it does eat it so we need four more all right no problem so we can just do this real quick oh it's Memorial Day weekend and I am doing absolutely amazing oh gosh We just have four of these and four of those. Oh. That wasn't the intent. Okay, so realistically, that should be all the rivets we should ever need. All right, so let's back this all the way up. We're going to go ahead and make it all the way back down to the original sturdy sheet, right? All right, so let's go ahead and knock that out. That should be relatively easy. We can make the initial gun, and then we can move our way forward till we get to the later, later game guns. Okay, so we know we need rivets. We got rivets. What else did we need? You know what I should have done? I should have just said, hey, we need that, that. Okay, so sturdy sheet, rivet, and brass ingot. So we need brass and sturdy sheet. I made a couple off camera, so that way we're ahead of the game. And we're looking for a riveter. Look at this thing. The Gatlin gun looks just so cool, but it's only five damage. Miles good looks good too. Experimental round. I mean, I can make that. Riveter. We can just go straight to the Riveter. I mean, it's four brass, two sturdy sheets. Because I think that one's... Yeah. Oh. It doesn't say how many. Okay. All right. Riveter symbol. Stop throwing it everywhere. It's not cool. Okay. And so we now have the riveter and the riveter 
goes into the rail worker. So we need a brass conversion kit. Okay, to make a brass conversion kit, we got to make a steel conversion kit. Is there a way we can make these in here? <clears throat> MO attachments. No. Rail worker. Yeah, brass conversion kit. Alright, so we need to make the steel conversion kit. Steel conversion kit requires four deployers. Not a problem. And a copper, which requires this, which requires that. Okay. Alright, four deployers. Let's clean up our inventory real quick. Whoop, 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 whoop. And the riveter. Uh, we don't need any of that stoof right now. Put a ring back on. Alright, cool. So, first things first is going to be the steel conversion kit. Four deployers, here we go. Actually, could we just make it downstairs? Because we could, we, we could add one more deployer downstairs and then just retrofit that. So do we have an extra deployer? We do. So, let's grab some cogs. And some andesite, or uh, some of these. Uh, we have our wrench, right? Our create wrench. Perfect. Put our... I also uh, silkied this. Because <clears throat> if we silky it, we can then break it when we get back here with this one. This is my other one. Uh, and then, or we can bring it up here if these guys are out of stonks. So, easy peasy for that. Okay, uh... So there's that, 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 and that. Um, maybe we will need another one of those. Uh, grab a gearbox. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do a little bit of retrofitting with this. Um, so these guys are kind of this way. Let's get rid of the mixer. Okay. Well, didn't really do what I wanted, but that's fine. A little bit of a little music's going. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Um we're gonna leave that kind of going the way it's going. Take that off. We can take this and this. And that's this. And that. So put that there. And that right, right. I think we said it was four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we have four, which is perfect. Now we just got to reset it up. Boom. Chesticle. Oh, did I set this off by one? I did. That's not what I was after. <clears throat> My W key and my E keys, or my E key is absolutely a horrible thing, uh, I swear. It has dri been driving me nuts for the last little while. Like, I love it, but I love this keyboard to death. It is so comfortable and it's so amazing. But at the same time, I am losing my mind. Okay, so we need rotational energy coming from two different directions. We could probably use a gearbox, although if we do use a gearbox, it's going to mess us up. So, if we use two verticals, 
what it'll do is it'll basically keep it going the right way. Because I don't want, I think, upstairs my grinding wheels. I don't want my grinding wheels going the wrong direction. And they're going the wrong direction. Of course they're going the wrong direction. Everything's going the wrong direction again. So is it just one? Okay. Maybe maybe it was by design. Maybe it's Maybelline. Okay, so... Vertical gearbox is now going this way. I might have to change it. So that way it's facing... Yeah. This wouldn't be a vertical. This would be a horizontal gearbox. Like that. Cool. And then I can just put cogs down this side. So boop, boop, boop. Perfect. Now I just got to clean out the filters. Which is easy peasy. And they, they are all ready to go. <clears throat> we got a thing. Blaze cake, what up? Obtain brass. Let's go so obtain some brass, guys. Let's go grab the rest of the stuff. <laughs> We've got brass. Wow. Let's go get a deployer. We'll take it down real quick. I'm going to be all over this mod, might as well. Just boop. We got a deployer, guys. Precision mechanism. I don't think I have any extras. <laughs> and I just tore it down. Oh no. Okay, so we need cogs. Um, let's see your cogs and two sheets. So we're going to need some iron sheets. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's go ahead and make five of these. We need two per, so that's ten. As you can see, I have bought... So ten of these should be a lot less of each one of those. So be basically we're gonna make five. So that means we need to make five copper conversion kits. And to make those, we've got to make this. So let's make this. There's one, two, three. Four. I don't think we can make five. Yeah, we can make four, so we can only make four of these. Alright, so that's done. Copper conversion kit. We need to make copper sheets. Okay, so we need copper sheets. Alright, um... Let me think here. Exposed copper is not going to help us. We can do this. So it's four times four... Sixteen. We can toss those back in. And we can just come down here and have the hammerer. 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 Hammerer it. Alright. Um, let's see here. That'll be the copper conversion kit. Because it's four each. And then we can basically just set this up to do... Four time, four of these, four of these, four of these, four of these, and yep, that should be good. Looks like I'm a little low on large cogwheels. Not a big deal. We can do that quite easily. 
That'll get us to steel conversion kit. Brass conversion kit's going to be, looks like modifying it one more time with brass this time and adding a fifth one because currently we're at four. All right. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we'd be adding a fifth one to the overall, which would be like putting it back here. And this time it's actually going to be lava. Although we already have that over here, we could extend this. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Uh, I really like having that there. Let's look at this again. Is this the last one? Because we could technically just run this backwards and then we could run this one, two, three, four, five. We'd have to run the shafts back here. I don't want to do that. I could move this over one or two. I might do that. Oh, what am I thinking here? Copper sheets. There we go. There's four of those. So that's done. Steel conversion kit is going to be the one we set up here. And we're running from right to left. So five little, five big, plate, plate. What did I say? Five little, five big. I did not do that correctly, but that's fine. And then just do that. And that's done. I might leave this one again because again we can just leave this one this way <coughs> but I want to know what we're gonna do hmm what do we got for pipes we got a couple of extra pipes that's good okay um, what about deployers? What are we looking at for deployers? One. We can make one. Great news, everybody. We have one. Uh, huh. I mean, we can run the piping spout. I mean, it's not rocket science for us to make a spout because this is already four and we just got to go to five and it's already basically the same thing and it's the last one so we would just have to shove this over about one more let's do it okay <clears throat> Okay, brain. Okay, and come on, brain. Brain? Huh. The brain has stopped working. Please restart and try again. All right, cool. <coughs> The only problem is that is directly in the way. We can move this one more over to the left and put it at that end. That'll work. Okay. 
right? And then go boop. So then it's spout all the way back to here. Okay, so it's everything then the valve. Okay, so we need to bring lava up to you. And we're gonna say lava comes from a magical place called just down here. Okay, so we need to bring this up that way. Okay, probably don't need that. We need this more than that. So here, that's pumping that way. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm not filling it up with lava right now. Just my floor filled full of lava. <laughs> Oh boy. Luckily it's not just pouring lava. <laughs> okay, we don't need these two. And that's good. Let me check down here while we're not pumping. Are you out? No, you got 34 buckets. Show me the money. I took out a, it sounded like I took out something. What? Oh, you're not, okay, so that's, okay, that's not what we want. Oh, we want it off this line. Ah, that makes way more sense. Okay, that's why it's not coming out. So that's the pipe coming out of those, okay. We want it after this pipe so we want this line that's going this way okay oh <clears throat> ta-da Look at the lava flow. Look at the lava not flow. No. Maybe it'll be enough. I think it pushes like 16 blocks. Oh, tell me you're getting it. You're not going to get it, are you? Give it a second. Give it a second, please. You're not gonna do it, are you? I gotta make a pump. <clears throat> Off we go to make a pump. You and play pump. All right. <clears throat> Give it a little bit of help here. Did you know this actually works very similarly to in real, real world dynamical kind of stuff? Most people don't know that. All right, so we do have stress already going this way um, in a <clears throat> somewhat okay fashion. Uh, we could put pump. Here, we need to take off you, right? And then put pump. So you whatever we'll figure it out put a pump here right and then now we got to figure out how we're going to do this you know what we could do a belt
And now the pump goes. Yeah, it's going to go all the way up. You can only pump so far, and it's called feet of head. And you can only go a certain amount of distance with a certain amount of feet of head pressure. And that. And then we need the little gears. I placed one, and it's in a weird spot. Bingo. So the feet of head is basically a mathematical thing. You can only pump a certain volume amount of liquid in a vertical thing. Uh, same thing with pulling uh, a certain amount of suction, vacuum, or, or, or um, stuff. So that means we now have this set up for the brass conversion kit so we can actually go little cog. So we need four, four, and eight brass sheets. So we can go get brass sheets and we'll be good to go. So we need eight brass sheets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can put our piping back. We need to get rid of the trash that we picked up. We need those, we need those, we don't need that. Maybe, probably not. And let's see here. We can go ahead and make four of these, four of these. All right, let's go stampy stamp. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like, that's why whenever they have um, big, big, big underground tanks or they're pumping fluids, a very large volume of fluids vertically or whatever, they'll actually have to pump it up and they'll have booster pumps as they go through high-rise buildings or if they have fire suppression systems or fuel systems or underground fuel tanks or above-ground fuel tanks. Anytime you have any long run of piping, um, they're going to have pumps so it's actually kind of neat that they actually have to have it for running these more than a certain distance all right so let's make sure we got this all figured out right so we know that it's going to start out and i think it's brass brass at the end let's check brass brass at the end yep little cog big cog brass brass so let's go ahead and get this right here little cog big cog brass brass so we're gonna say little cog big cog brass brass and we're gonna grab four and then four and then four and then four and then all we gotta do is put our sturdy sturdy sheets in here and it's going the right way everything looks good let's see if it works brass conversion kits here we go Why am I doing four? It's because of the fact that I don't know what else we might need it for, and it's easier for me to do four at once than it is for me to, uh... Did this not work? Oh, I gotta run it through twice! Oh... So these fellas didn't make it through. We gotta go grab more four of each again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And whoops. So four, four, eight. Cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because I don't know what else we're going to use these brass conversion kits for. Uh, there's no telling. Wait, look, this is a brass conversion kit to special conversion kit. And special conversion kits are then haunted for ethereal and then they're used to make all kinds of other guns. Uh, officer special, grenade launcher, earth special. 
corpse. That looks horrible. Um, is there a big barrel on it? That's weird. I love this one. It looks really neat. But yeah, we may have to make a couple more guns later. I just think it's really neat. Alright, so... Little cog. Big cog. Brass one. Brass two. Steel conversion kits. Cool beans. There we go. So now for our next gun. Okay, we have the riveter. The rail worker requires just a couple of items. I think we have everything for it now. Let's pop back in here. And go for the rail worker. Oh, let's we'll grab the riveter. Right. And we can grab some brass. Uh, we have the conversion kits. What else did it need? Sturdy sheets. Those ain't a problem. We have a couple extra of those. Uh, brass, that, 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 and that. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get the rail worker. Riveter, rail worker, four sturdy sheets. It lied. It lied to me. Which isn't a big deal. Because we can quite easily make some more of that. Obsidian. I need to put stairs on this. Come on, give me some back. Oh yeah, solid win there. Why is it we only have two powered in obsidian? I keep putting this in and... <sighs> what? I thought we had more powdered obsidian than two. Okay, there's four. You know what, we'll go with four. Because I know we got three off the bat, I just don't understand where it went. It's just weird. Did I put it in my backpack? No. Weird. Thanks, game. Should be able to just slide it in there. <clears throat> Swan didn't want to get rid of this. The other one's kind of like our workstation-ish kind of thing. Make sure we got plenty of extra. We're probably going to be like one short every single time because it's going to lie to me. You only need one sturdy sheet. And it's going to be like, oh, got you. Ah! All right. Rail worker assemblage. Cool. Flechette rounds. What up? All right, cool. So now we're gonna go from rail worker. We got all those. We got that. We got that. Cog loader is the next one. Let's see if we can get it. Spitfire looks super cool too. Look at this thing. That's why we have extra brass sheets. 
Look at that thing, though. Oh, my bird. Thunderhead. Bolly gun. Shot bolt. That thing looks cool, too. Lock bolt rifle. That's what we have now. The bronze enforced. Cyclone. Where is this thing at? There it is. Four sturdy sheets. Told you. We got tree. Luckily, we have one more obsidian. Maybe the chunks will update and I'll actually get my stuff. No, don't look like it. Alright, give me one more. And then just one large cog. And we'll be pretty much good to go with the cog loader. This being automated is super nice. And I'm so happy I didn't break it down. Because I was thinking about moving some stuff around and doing some stuff. And it not being moved is just absolutely fantastic. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, we need a large cog. Let's go this way. And we got the large cog loader. And it takes advanced bullets, same as this. So what I'm going to do is, I think it's shift C, right? Let's take everything off. Go over to it, shift, shift Z. Put everything back on boom and boom we can put away everything else we don't need any more all right we got 33 levels let's see what kind of cool enchants we can get with this boy boom what we get what we get reclaimed off the bat Lightweight accelerator reclaimed. Perfect. Uh, I'm not going to argue. Need some more bullets. It will eat. She will eat. All right, cool. So today's episode was basically going to be focused around making this cog loader. One of the reasons why we focused on the cog loader is it does do a decent amount of damage, which is 22.8. In comparison to our recent other gun, and it only did 15. So we're looking at like a seven point difference in, in damage right there. Uh, it also has a larger capacity and it's going to be able to... <clears throat> continue to move forward with a lot of the other things anyway so we've got that done the next thing we're going to be looking at is armor so i did put prop four thorns and unbreaking on all of our diamond you can see i upgraded to diamond i didn't really see anything in the way of armors going forward through all the different packages right so we can go to the different um places but I don't see anything specifically like there's some Aether gear there's some end stuff and elytras but as for armor I'm not really seeing very much so if we look up chest like we got pyrotype aqualite like we got eight eight armor, two toughness for diamond. Uh, netherite is eight and three, so it's only one up on toughness. So it's not a whole lot different right there. Maybe some durability. 
uh, the bone reptile from the cataclysm mod. We might have to go into the cataclysm mod to be able to continue to get this going. Forbidden Arcanus also has some, some pretty solid choices. Um, so we're going to have to push for netherite and then ignite them. Right? Yeah for us to do that and that's only going to be 10 but it looks like forbidden arcanus has 12 but that's it like you can see that the list of chest plates are not very good and this is from the aether sandstone sentinel chest piece dash is 11 that's create planetary tweaks calorite which is actually better it's 13 mm. what else can we do to make this hmm Do we have anything that's specifically like we can see that's like part of a different thing? Jet boots? Ethereum boots? Enigmatic legacy? Yeah, it looks like they've kind of nerfed it down to where us finding it. Yeah, it looks like the Cataclysm mod might be the way to do this. So it means we'd have to go into the nether and find some Cataclysm mods, mobs, for us to be able to go forward with this. And that's not a bad deal. Because if we look here, <clears throat> we have de the Dead King in the Catacombs. Abyssal Sacrifice Summon the Leviathan. Leviathan, Sunken City... I guess it'd be in the nether, right? Defeat the Wither, Ancient Knight, Infernal Altar, Bastion, Forbidden Castle, Discover an Ancient Nether Portal, Necromancer Spire, Paglin Manor, Battlegrounds, Discover a Citadel, Discover a Catacomb, Factory Ruin, Discover a Burning Area. Summon Ignis. Defeat the Netherite Monstrosity. So here is the what we're looking for. Found in Soul Blacksmiths. Barely spawn. Fire resist is highly recommended. Okay. So we will probably get some fire resist potions going um, and get some stuff together for doing that I'll probably make some more uh, bullets get everything else together and then next time I will what I'm gonna do in between streams is probably make myself oh what did I do with it I think I might have put it in a thing the pyro pyrodyne py pyro gyrodyne I'll probably take the gyrodyne and go look around in the nether. Is there waystones in this? No. No. What is the uh, tempad? What do we need for tempad? A beacon. Beacon requires another star. Redstone lamp. Tinted glass. This is this is absolutely doable. We could we could so make one of these. I just got to make a make a beacon can we get beacons from drops like are you are you drops no okay then well then all right i will be back uh soon sooner rather than later let me grab this 
Uh, if you enjoyed the content and you're enjoying the content, do me a favor, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and continue to interact with me with the comments and stuff like that so that way I can continue to improve my channel and continue to improve the environment for all of us to be able to enjoy this. Thank you so much for coming by and I will see you guys later.